Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we will learn how to use WebDriver Manager in Selenium Python. So WebDriver Manager is a library that helps us to manage our browser drivers and we do not have to manually download the browser library or exe files and then add the path in our project. So this is very easy and very interesting and in very simple steps we will see how to install WebDriver Manager, how to add the WebDriver Manager in project and we will also look at a very simple demo. So let's get started and before I go to the demo let me just go to Google and I will search for WebDriver Manager for Selenium Python and here you can see this is a github link for this WebDriver Manager for Selenium. So let me go here and yes this is the link. I will also provide this link in the notes and all these notes will be available to you in the notes or description section of this video. So you can go here and you can see this is the WebDriver Manager for Python and here we have some documentation and this is how you can install WebDriver Manager for Python and then this is the basic usage. So let us start. I will go to my system and I will go to the command line. You can also go to terminal in case you are on Mac. I am doing this on window. So the very first thing I will say pip list to check if WebDriver Manager is already there. So I can check the list of Python libraries and I do not find WebDriver Manager. In fact I do not even have Selenium. So the first thing is I will install Selenium. So I will say pip install Selenium and this should install Selenium and if I say pip list I should have selenium here so selenium is done now I will say I will use this command pip install webdriver manager so I will say pip install webdriver manager and this should be done if it is saying successfully install webdriver manager so if I run the command pip list I should have WebDriver Manager and you can see it has installed WebDriver Manager. So this is step number one. We have to install WebDriver Manager and now I have WebDriver Manager and Selenium on my system. I can go to my PyCharm. You can use any editor that you are using for creating your Selenium test. I am using PyCharm and I will go to file and create a new project. I will create a new project and I will say this is WebDriver manager demo and here in the project interpreter I will just use the existing interpreter and say create and I will open it in a new window and I have this project created here so now I can inside my project folder I will just create a new python file and I will say this as selenium test and here I can now first import so the first thing I have to do is I have to import WebDriver from Selenium so I will say from Selenium import WebDriver so I will import WebDriver first and then to import WebDriver manager I will use this so you can see for Chrome we can use this for Firefox we can use this import statement and similarly for other browsers it is given here so let us say I want to use Chrome so I will use this I will say here from webdriver manager dot chrome import chrome driver manager and that's it now you can see I can directly use this statement to set up browser so I will say webdriver dot chrome chrome driver manager install and I can use a driver variable here so this is all now we need to do so we do not have to download the exe file or the binary file for the browser we do not have to provide the location or the path here the executable path of our browser exe nothing it's just so simple now it will take care of our chrome driver and also we can provide a version here in case we want to run on some specific version i will just show you and if you do not provide any version it will run on the latest version so i will show you that as well so now this is all i will have to do i can just start creating my test so I will say driver dot get let us say I want to go to google.com and then I will say driver dot close and I will say driver dot quit and also I will just import another library called time so that I can provide a wait here so I will say time dot sleep for two seconds so that you can see this running before it closes the browser and I will do a right click 
and say run selenium test and let us see what happens so you can see it is getting the latest chrome driver and it is running on chrome browser and you can see it is checking if the latest chrome driver is in the cache and if it is there it will use that otherwise it will download so it will download the browser drivers here on this location on your system so let's say i want to run it on any other version i will say i want to run on uh, 2.36 version of chrome so i will say this here and i will again run this and you can see so in this case it did not find so it is downloading a new browser driver and now it is running our test on that version of chrome so this is as simple and of course if you want to run on firefox you can use this so instead of this import i will comment this out by pressing ctrl and forward slash on my keyboard and i will import the geeko driver like this and this is the statement so i will comment this one for chrome driver and i will use this uh, yeah so this i have to copy it from here i'll copy it and use it here and yes so that's all i have to do i do not have to download or do any manual setup i will save this and run this and this time this should run on a firefox driver so this should get the latest firefox or geeko driver and it is now running on firefox driver so you can see how easy it is and if <laughs> if you are watching this uh, video as a video in the series of selenium python framework then in the um, later videos i might have used the old method of getting the browser exe and then providing the path because those videos were created earlier so you can just uh, choose to use this method of setting up your browser and you can continue with this i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching